Why, hello. It's me, Seth Rogen, here at Granville Island in Vancouver, British Columbia. It's where 10 potters will be facing off in the most extraordinary ceramics competition show that this country has ever seen. And I will be there every single step along the way. Actually, that's not true. Hi, I'm Jen Robertson, and I'll be your host. She will actually be here every step along the way. Jennifer, you make such a great host for a competitive reality show. Oh, because you're not you. cutthroat. You're just sunny, and, you know, you increase the happiness hormones oh, of the show. thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a happy show. It's a kind competition show, you know? And that was really yeah. a big part of it for me is I'm not interested in any of those super negative reality competition shows. I don't love that. And when I knew it was the same uh, as the Great British Pottery Throwdown, which I had seen, which I knew was very community and, and positive, I really wanted to. Tremendous. That's so Canadian. Pottery is a sort of a strange thing to focus a show on. I mean, it's, it's uh, generally a, an isolated art form. And it's, you know, it's hypnotic. They're using the wheel and everything. Yeah. But it really grabs you. And why is that? You know, I think part of it is um, Natalie and Brendan, our judges, are phenomenal. And um, our producers, Frantic, did such a great job. Obviously, the editing, so much of the show is the editing. Yeah. They shoot hours and hours and hours of, of zoom in close-ups of a pot and a thing. And, they, you know, they do an amazing job with that. But I think the potters that are on the show are also so well chosen. They represent the whole country. Um, they became so close. And I think a lot of the potters did say just that, that they're used to being alone with their music in a studio. And it was so nice for them to be able to hang out with each other for eight weeks in the summer on Granville Island. I mean, it was amazing. And who on earth knew that Seth Rogen was a potter? I know. I know. His wife took a class. Then he took a class with her, and both of them are amazing potters. They both do beautiful pottery. And he's very serious about the work yes. that he's doing, looking yes. at them, and, and he's very encouraging as well. So that's that's very nice. Yeah. He's so Canadian. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> well, him and I were both yeah. saying, because we shot on Granville Island, so Seth's from Vancouver, I'm from Vancouver. We both took, there's various... Um, theaters there that teach drama classes a lot of young to a lot of young people and both of us took drama classes when we were kids on Granville Island so we were both saying how cool it was now we're shooting this show steps away from where we both took acting classes as little kids so isn't that neat yeah wow yeah that is so cool now a very dear friend of mine's a potter and she's very intense about it I mean I know it's meant to be relaxing but I think you, you know, you saw these people up close. Is it that or is it relaxing? Um, it's quite physical, especially on like these giant heavy lumps of clay. If you're like breaking down the clay or you're on the wheel, I wouldn't say it seems relaxing. I think as artists, that's how they do their work. But it's actually quite physical, I would say. So I think your friend's right on the right track. I think it's a pretty physical uh, art form. And actually, now that you say that, I remember one scene when this little girl picks up this big hunk of yeah. clay and she goes, thwap, yeah. just like on a baking show. You yeah, know? yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. It's it, the, their arms, their strong arms, all of them. Did you find some objects that you just found to be, to speak to you and you wanted them all? I mean, how, how is it when you see all the products at the end? All the objects that are made on the show are incredible, especially considering we're giving them such a short amount of time to do it. And obviously that's the nature of reality TV is that the things that we're giving them are things that people would take weeks to build, you know, and they're getting six, maybe seven hours, you know, and then they're gonna, and then they're gonna decorate it or glaze it, but they're getting such a short amount of time. Absolutely, every week there would be, <laughs> that was the ongoing joke is I'd be like, I can't wait to put that up on Etsy. Like it was just, there would be <laughs> phenomenal pieces and different, it wasn't one potter specifically every, that's what's so interesting about art. Like, oh, I love what this person does. I'm gonna love everything they do. But then the next week it would be like, but that person's thing is incredible. Oh, so yeah. Interesting. Are those pots from the show behind you? Uh, this is by Seth. This is, um, oh his work here, and then these are just other pottery. These are not from the show, but this is Seth's uh, work here. 
Yeah. So he entrusted you to look after them for him for a day. He does. <laughs> Don't know if he should trust us, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's something else that's kind of weird about reality shows that people really enjoy is when, you know, when things go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a bit of that? Of course. There has to be. Uh, if it was a reality show where everything went right, I don't know if anyone would watch. Uh, so you put them in this situation with a short amount of time, and uh, the kiln, what I learned, is, um, is very dramatic just in and of itself. And if things aren't done a certain way, or there's too much moisture, or there's too, a wall is too thick, things can, can not go well. I mean, there was cracking in the first episode that you saw. There's yes. cracking. Yes. Um, but things definitely got dialed up. And it's just because people are short on time and you make decisions and you don't, or, you know, don't have time to fully think it through if that will do well in the kiln or not. Yeah. And yeah. also they're on TV for the on first TV. time, probably. I know. You know, that's a big deal. But they're deal. dynamic. And that's reason. Yeah. They're lovely. And that's, a, yes. And that's a reason why it's so great that you're there because you're so kind and I'm sure you helped a lot of them adjust to it. You know, so, you know, I knows? was so, you know, it was sort of my, which was so great is my purpose was to host the show and sort of be a cheerleader, which I love. And because I don't know anything about clay, that's obviously also my place um, on the show, but I would be surprised they'd be, you know, hour three of a four hour challenge and I'd go out and make some terrible joke, and they would all still laugh. Like, they were so kind. I was like, <laughs> I'm doing, and they said, no, it keeps the mood up. It keeps it light. It keeps it light. I said, okay, so that's my job, to keep it light. Keep it light. Do you have any artistic leanings? And if so, what? Definitely not pottery. I can tell you that. I made one tiny little pot one day with Natalie. One of the judges helped me make a teeny tiny little pot. And it's very obviously someone's first pot. It's very crooked. Um, it's a lot harder than it looks. You know, the potters kind of make it seem like, woo, you just do this, but there's so much uh, consistency in your pressure and lifting and doing things. It's not pottery. I can draw a little bit, but I, it's, pottery is not my jam, but I've loved pottery forever. So I collect yeah. pottery. Whenever I get a big job, I actually buy a piece of pottery. So. That was also part of what drew me to You're the show. Kidding. No, that was also what drew me. They said, really? oh, it's about pottery. And I went, I love pottery. So, yeah. Oh, how perfect. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, I enjoyed it so much, the episode. And I can't wait to see more. Yay. And to see more of your gracious hosting. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. It was so nice to see, see you again. again. Each week, they'll be asked to turn lumps of clay into stunning ceramics. So are these potters ready? Uh oh. I went through the bottom. To test their skills at the wheel. I'm cooking here. And push themselves to new limits every week. Oh, no. One of the most wild experiences of my life. This exploded. And who will be named champion? So the ones that do stand out, they really do stand oh, out. Oh! <laughs> I'm excited to see it. Oh, wow! Of the great Canadian pottery throwdown.